Thank you for visiting our website and taking the time to learn more about bioreactor sciences. This presentation will outline how the roller bottle principle is applied to our packed bed bioreactor systems and our proven formula for superior cell culture production. Up until now, roller bottles have been one of the most popular bioreactors with adherent cells for vaccine and biologics production. With their limited surface area, roller bottles have limitations like low yield, are very labor intensive, and require a large physical footprint, mostly in the form of clean rooms. The roller bottle principle applied to bioreactor sciences packed bed systems provides unparalleled oxygen transfer to the cells by intermittently exposing them to nutrient rich media and air. Through this process, there are no oxygen transfer limitations in our systems, in addition to little to no shear stress. This principle is aptly named the roller bottle principle because it is employed in both types of bioreactor systems. They are both simple and reliable. Cells either reside in a matrix chamber like in our bioreactors or along the roller bottle wall, alternately being exposed to air and media. Bioreactor sciences systems that employ the roller bottle principle range from our mini lab system, the biocell dish, to our benchtop bottle system, the Bellocell, and lastly, to our pilot lab and industrial scale system, the Tide Cell. This slide illustrates how our biocell dish system implements the roller bottle principle through the lab rocker's up and down motion. This slow and deliberate motion allows for cell carriers like our BioNOC2 carriers in the Petri dish to be exposed intermittently to media and air. In our bench top bottle system, the bellow cell, the stationary matrix chamber is located in the middle of the bellow cell bottle containing a high density of cells attached to carriers. The compression and decompression of the bellow beneath this matrix chamber adapts the roller bottle principle with its gradual motion. The gradual motion of media allows for optimal oxygen and nutrient transfer into the cells residing on the carriers inside of the stationary matrix. The measured movements of the bellow draws air through the top filter and alternately submerges the cells in nutrient rich media. The cells on the carriers in the matrix are undisturbed, experiencing little to no shear stress. In our tide cell system, nutrient rich media moves between the matrix chamber and storage bag, performing the roller bottle principle's even motion. Similar to the bellow cell, this gradual movement ensures a sufficient supply of nutrients and oxygen to the cells. The cells, again, are embedded on carriers like our BioNOC2 carriers inside of the matrix, exposing them to little to no shear stress. Some of the exclusive elements in our packed bed bioreactor systems include extremely high oxygen transfer capability due to maximum and direct exposure to air, near independence of scale factor in terms of oxygen transfer attributed to no required bulk mixing of liquid media, resulting in extreme ease of scaling up. Lastly, unlike other systems, there is little to no shear stress, proceeding to no cell damage and foaming issues. All combined, these qualities make bioreactor sciences bioreactors the most ideal application for cell culture production. Thank you again for taking the time to learn more about bioreactor sciences and our unique and innovative bioreactors.